Hello, this is Chaos Balloon. Welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time we got a car, and this time, this time is time for backtracking time. Yes. You see, we can cross this river now, which we couldn't cross before. We had to go over the mountains. But no, this leads straight back to Costa de Sol. Which is convenient because, by the way, we can still find things in the car. Because we want to find something at Costa de Sol. These are it, actually. Uh, I wonder if I can steal anything from one of these. Uh, evidently not. Do not want to use Aerith's Limit Break. Uh, don't want to kill them all either. Because I need to actually use one. Okay, let's just, let's just start killing them. I think Manipulate is more likely when you weaken them, but I'm not 100% on that. Don't hold me to it. Now I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there we go. Big guard! Go! And I'm pretty sure that takes a Buffy's turn, actually. Yeah, it did. So that's how Manipulate works. But the important thing is, I learned a big guard. Wait a second. Where the hell is my other enemy skill? Am I seriously gonna have to do this twice? Oh, that is so annoying. Whoops. So, I, I seem to have done an oopsie with my material setup. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just fight a second one. Well, no. First of all, I'm gonna... Cool. Uh, but no, first of all, I'm gonna actually make sure someone's equipped with my second enemy skill, Materia. Uh... Sure, let, let's go with you. Take that off. Um... Throw on... I don't know, something else. Throw? Throw and throw? Mm. Poison. Let's go with poison. Okay, so I'll see you when I actually get the enemy skill again because I screwed up. Whoops. And oh, hey, all leveled up. Got it. This seems like as good a time to mention as any. Something to keep in mind with enemy skills is you can put multiple enemy skills on the same character. You won't get any benefit from it. But if you do that, then whenever you learn an enemy skill, you'll learn it on all of your ones at once if it's a single target ability. But at the same time, you need to be careful about that because, for example, I have... Um, I do not have the fl flamethrower on this enemy skill, but I have it on this one. If I put both these in the same character and I went to try to learn flamethrower on this one, I wouldn't be able to learn it because I already have it. And that's basically how that works. Anyway, we're going to drive into Costa de Sol. Worth mentioning? You can't do this with every town. It's only Costa de Sol and Juan where you can drive into them. This is a... no. No, it's not. Okay, I want to go this way. Because now that we've cleared out Coral, we can bribe this asshole in order to stow away on the cargo ship. <laughs> The ocean. You know, these seem pretty close to each other. Actually. Don't they? Oh, it's turning! I thought... Wow. I actually thought these two places were literally straight across from each other. So so they didn't do that. That That's 
good to know, I guess. Oh yeah, no, just take your time. We have arrived in Juan! But wait, there's more! Uh, oh yeah, we, if we talk to this guy, we can actually take that helicopter all around Juan. But we're not going to do that. Because, well, because it's expensive. So I guess I'm just walking out. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's tempting. But no. Actually, I'm pretty sure if we if I go down there, there's something I can do to fight enemies I normally shouldn't be able to fight right now. I mean, I'm not... I think so. I'm not 100% sure on that. Obviously, I'm not doing it. I don't really think it's worthwhile, because, like, you don't really get anything good from them. But... But if you do want to grind <laughs> your MP... Wait, MP, no, if you want to grind experience, that is supposed to be a good place to do it. In any case, we're going to take this elevator that we didn't use before. But it actually just takes us to... Wait for it. Okay. Lower Juan. Now, we can bribe this guy to take this elevator up as well, but we don't need to do that. There's another way we can get up, which I'll show you on the way back. Um... Yeah. As I was saying, but wait, there's more! We didn't just stow away on the ship. We took our entire car with us, which makes no damn sense. But it's here. Now then. There's another enemy I want to fight in this area. I'm not sure if I pointed it out before, but... These are not it. Well, that's disappointing. At least cleanup should be quick. Okay, so hopefully hopefully I can fight it now. There sh and somewhere around here, I should be able to run into the enemy, not in the forest though. I'm pretty sure they're not in the forests. Uh here it is. This asshole. Uh I want to hit it and then I want to manipulate it. Unfortunately, that is not the enemy skill. But it's actually kind of funny because this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, but manipulate still works. And I am almost certain that that actually is more likely to work if you weaken an enemy. But anyway, we want White Wind. If it uses Thunderbolt, you might not be able to use White Wind. I'm pretty sure that they both use MP. So just something to keep in mind there. But yeah, we got White Wind! Now, for the next trick, uh, I could go there, but let's see. I think it's up here. Can I... There it is. Yeah, there's a place where we can cross the river here. Fix my map. And yeah, there's a fort here where, that, where we can cross. And now that we've crossed, we can go into this cave. No, out of the car. What indeed. It's a sleeping old guy! Large materia needs high level materia. Okay. Okay. That, that's great. Um... Okay... Let's, let's try that again. 
What indeed? Are are you not gonna tell me? Okay, um This has the potential to become really annoying then. Okay, so here's how this is supposed to work. We come in here, he tells us how many battles we've fought. This is important because if the last two digits are the same number, then he will give us stuff. The stuff he gives us depends on the number. But he's not telling me the number. So... This is problematic. Okay, so... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in and out of here, finding one battle each time until I've got something, or until I've hit... Mm, I could be at... or until I've hit nine battles. Whichever comes first. I'm not gonna do that on the screen, because it could take a little while. <laughs> so... Uh, I hope this works out. See you in a minute or two. Oh, hey! He woke up! He gave me something! But he's still not telling me the damn number. Oh, now he says it! What the- Okay, I'm a little upset that it took this long for him to actually display this number. But he's doing it now! Okay, so 144. So, in 11 more battles, I want to come back here. Because, basically, he gives you one thing for even numbers and one thing for odd numbers. The bolt thing, the bo bolt thing, the bolt ring is for even. Uh, you only can get one of each, though. Wait, I think? It's complicated. You can only get one bolt ring for sure. Um... No, actually, that's probably more useful. So... Okay, then. We need to come back in a little more battles. So, I... I'm gonna do this right now, but not right right now. Like, I'm gonna do it in this episode. But, since we need to do 11 battles anyway, there's somewhere I would like to go. Whoops. We are going to Fort Condor. Because after you leave Coral, it's time for another battle, and... Well, first of all, I'm sort of happy that I didn't actually miss this one. And second of all, this is the last time I'm probably gonna actually come to one of these until... Um, well, until I have a new means of travel. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Which I guess was true for this case as well, come to think of it. Hmm. Anyway, this is the last time we're going to be here for a while. Uh, and I'm probably going to throw a bunch of money at them, because... to that same effect. Let's see, I need to actually heal first though, because I am a little bit worse for wear on the MP front. I, I've been using Chocobo Mog a lot, because I'm trying to get uh, Aerith's third limit break. So I can swap her for someone else. I mean, pretty much. At least for the short term. <laughs> Uh, let's save the game, actually, since I'm down here. Right there. Hmm. There we go. And then... Straight up to the left. And to the left. Or, I guess, to the left, then up. Really. If you did the... If you reverse the order of that, you could very well end up in a very different place. Only one times? That doesn't sound right. There should have... there should have been two in there, I think. I don't know. It's weird. It might... it probably skips over some battles if you don't show up, but it still uses up my money, so... Yeah. I want to play it safe on here. I'm fairly sure it's not going to be attacked five times, 
between now and the next time I show up. So, 1500 should be enough. Okay. However, I'm not setting any units. I should have set units on the first time because it had prize that prize that I cared about. This time does not have a prize that I care about. So I'm just gonna, you know, wait for them to reach the top and fight the boss. Basically what I did last time. But this is a different boss! Actually. The first three all have the same boss, and then at this point, I think this is the first one with the new form. And then there's one more new form for, I want to say, the very last battle. Yes, it is a bird! Wire and whatever. Yes, because it is quick. Which means I won't be waiting around as long. Could stand to be quicker, though, to be honest. Hurry up, please! <laughs> okay, so... I don't know how long this is going to be for you guys, but this is going to be a really long... This is probably going to be a really bad, like, time to... Like, record time to view time ratio, because there's a lot of running around off screen. Oh well, though. It has to be done. Well, it doesn't, actually. All of this is totally stuff I don't need to be doing. But I want to do it. Yep, that's the plan. Okay, now I'm pretty sure this one I can steal from. I was mistaken. Okay, Blade Beam. Uh, let's use Rama. He's the new guy in the block. Also, I haven't used Efrid either, I don't think. So, let's use him as well. I've used Shiva, though. I'm pretty sure. Step one. Summon a mountain, because Rama is too cool to show up on the ground. Step two. Lightning! Cool. This is a super classic E3, like... It, it looks a lot like the e of Final Fantasy V and VI, whereas after Final Fantasy VII, they really gave e, e a big makeover to ma basically make him look a lot cooler and less like a... more like be beast-like and less demon-y, you know. Also, they played up the fire more, I think. Yep, that's a big bird. Okay then. Well, okay then. And now we're done in Fort Condor. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know if that battle counts as a battle. It probably does, but I don't know for sure. And also, I forgot to keep counting my battles on the way here. So, I am somewhere between one and four battles right now. So here's the plan. I mean, I'm going to go straight back to the Mithra Mine. Well, not the Mithra Mine. The, th the, the cave I was at. Although, since I mentioned it, now would be a good time were I so inclined to go get Flamethrower on my second enemy skill, but I don't really care. Flamethrower isn't that good. Um, it's not that good. It's... I'll grab it eventually, but... It, it's... It's not worth my time to go into the mine that I just drove right past. But it is worth my time to fight seven-ish more of the these noobs. Oi. I think I need to- I think I might need to reevaluate my priorities here. Um, 
whatever. <laughs> whatever, we're, we're still doing it. Uh, now what was I saying? Right! I'm gonna go see if I can get the guy to actually give me a damn number this time. And if not, once I get up to around... Oh... Five more battles after this one, I will just keep going in every time. Because that way I won't accidentally miss it. Okay. It's over here. And... Please give me a number. What? When did I run away? Oh, I ran away from, I ran away from the Midgar Zolom. But he's not giving me a statistic that I care about. Still, clearly he's sleeping, so I guess he gives a few- he says a few different things. It probably changes every time you enter the area. Okay then, so... Hmm. Well, we'll see. Right, I- actually, I'll cut off here. I'll meet you again when, well... When he has something new to say, I suppose. Okay, so, it is just random. I guess I just got unlucky before. Also, I need six more... Excuse me, I need six more battles. Wait, no, is that right? Five, six... I need seven more battles. I cannot do math. Well, okay then, I'll see you seven-ish battles from now. Oh, okay, that's awesome. I'm not done yet. I've only fought like two of my battles, but I just got Aaron's third limit break! Yes. Check it out. Cure that's actually really lame. <laughs> that is such a shitty limit break. Aerith actually has some amazing high-level limit breaks, but that is not one of them. Okay then. Okay then, uh, I should swap Aerith for someone else, but I I'll do do it in this at the start of the next episode, I think. So back 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 to counting battles. Damn straight, we got the Mithril, da -da -da! which is something which is a key item. Check it out. That we're actually going to need later on. Um, like, I I'm pretty sure we need it for a non-optional thing. Although I'm not 100%, I don't, I, I don't really remember, to be honest, very well. I know we need it for something, for sure. I don't remember what I need it for. <laughs> but something. And relatively soon at that. And to explain the ambiguity from before, once we use the Mithril, it'll be gone. But once it's gone, I'm pretty sure we can get another one from him, but you can only ever have one at a time. Having said that, I do not believe you get any benefit from having a second Mithril. I am fairly sure that after you use the first one, that's all you use it for. And then the second one is sort of just so you can have it, it doesn't do anything. Also, speaking of things that should do things... Cl uh, whoops. Uh, Juan is right there. Now, we're almost done, but there's just one or two more things I need to show off. In incidentally, in case it wasn't clear, the reason you can drive into Juwon and Costa de Sol, but nowhere else with the buggy, is because of the transport. So anyway, if we go down to the beach, and if we blow the whistle in the water, there we go. Jump onto the cargo ship with a dolphin? The dolphin helps us stow away on the ship. If we wanted to, we could walk all the way back to it through Upper Juwan and pay the guy 100 gil to stow away that way. But we can do it for free this way and it involves less walking. 
So, this is the preferred method. And actually, this is something that was news to me, because I didn't know you could stow away using the dolphin until quite recently. Or at least relatively speaking, I mean, this is like literally a 15 year old game, older than that actually. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> Now that we've done that, there's just one more thing to do, and then I'm stopping. For now. So, having said that... Hmm... Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna do it now. So having said that, I'm going to meet you back where it all began. And by it, of course, I mean this episode. <laughs> the desert around the gold saucer. Okay, so... Before I do this, I want to say, because I could get my ass kicked really easily here. Um, yeah. We're going to go into the desert. And we are after this, air quotes, Herpy. <laughs> because it has an, an enemy skill that we want. And why did I do this? save this for now instead of doing it at the beginning? Yes, it has the air quotes Aqualung. Aquabra. The Harpy uses Aqualung. It's not a Chimera. <laughs> it's not Aquabra. <laughs> ah, man. It, seriously, if there's any enemy in this game that was the most obvious thing, if there's any one thing in this game that painted the picture of just how bad the localization was for this game, it was this. They called a the Chimera, which is obviously a Chimera, the, a freaking harpy, and they and they translated the Aqua Breath attack into Aqua Lung, which they really should have known better, since it's this is like the third or fourth game with the attack. Anyway, those things are not even worth very much, but Aqualung is super worth. Aqualung is... Well, you remember Beta? Aqualung is the water element equivalent of that. It is, like, it is one of the... Hmm, long term, probably not one of the strongest attacks in the game. It is, cer it is almost certainly the strongest attack we have access to right now. Uh... And it is probably one of the most useful abilities, if not one of the most powerful. Uh, having said that, though, I'm going to stop off here. So join me next time when we progress further in our buggy. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Balloon. Have a great day. Bye!